Hello friends, it's me Vivian from the Paper Letter Blog, also known as the Chatty Pen Pal channel, and today we're gonna make a new type of flat mail project, flat pen pal mail project. At least I don't think I've done one of these on my channel before. So what I'm doing in the background might look a little complicated, but it's actually really simple. I'm just making a large envelope using my envelope punch. Uh, but rather than gluing it down, we're going to keep it open because that is the base for our flip book. Then what you're also seeing is my Instagram. I have saved all of the posts labeled hashtag the paper letter blog that have been posted in the last couple of weeks. If your post is not there, I'm really sorry. It's either because I missed it because I'm still so upset about this. The hashtag is not in chronological order anymore. Like the only posts that show up at the top of the hashtag are the most popular ones, even if they're back from uh, years ago. So I miss a lot of the posts. So if you end up using this hashtag, please tag me in it as well. It's at the paper letter blog so that I can save your post and show it later. But um, if I do not save it or do not see it, it might also be because you're, uh, you're page is private so but thank you so much for sharing these i absolutely love seeing how my uh, crafts inspired you in some way look at those gorgeous wax seals and this is actually my own meal that i sent to ty and that has arrived safely so what I'm doing in the background, uh, I'm getting distracted by these beautiful mills, but what I'm doing is, uh, since I'm using single-sided cardstock, I'm just covering it up with, uh, I'm covering the back with some other papers so that it's not that white anymore. Just gluing this paper, this craft paper that I'm using is actually wrapping paper, which I think is really pretty. So I'm speeding it up quite a lot because that's not that interesting. Some vintage book pages. And I really do apologize for the top of my head the whole time. Um, when I started editing this, I was kind of shocked to find that I filmed or I started this project back in 2020. So that's four years ago. I swear I made this last year, but I started it back in 2020 and then I got super lost and I didn't know what to do and I didn't finish it and I didn't work on it for a year and I actually ended up finishing it in 2021 and then sending it out in 2022. <laughs> so this project has been with me for some time. So I have definitely gotten better in my filming angles and not being in the screen with my head the whole time. But this is four years ago. So Vivian from the past. Anyhow, this uh, paper pad is from Action, our local dollar store. And it has these really large quote like squares in it. That I never know how to use. I do think they're cute, but they're so big. I just, they're just, I don't know, I just, I don't use them, but uh, I figured, I figured out it actually fits in the middle of my project. It's not a perfect fit, as you can see, there's quite some space left, but it fits, so I figured I was going to use that. Uh, when I started this project, I had no idea what I was going to do. I just knew that I was going to make an envelope that opens up and... Uh, yeah go from there i do not remember how i got this idea it might have been kira from simply creative kira although i think she's done projects like this before but then there's always like uh something in the middle something different in the middle so i don't know if i came up with this myself probably inspired by so many people so i actually found a die a circle die that is the exact same size as the quote so i punched out the quote with the die and then I punched out some more circles and we're actually going to make, how would we call, how should we call this? Multiple circle shaped pages in the middle of this project. Also, don't worry, I am eventually going to cut the paper down that is on the sides. It's not going to stay this ugly, but I, I was letting the glue dry or something. I don't know, I couldn't be bothered to cut them off. So in order to make the background paper a little less white, I'm just using some Distress Oxide inks. This is Bundled Sage, I love that color. And the other one is Tea Dye, which is definitely my most used one. I didn't also didn't realize that I've had these for so many years, it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, because this is regular cardstock, like crafting cardstock, the ink doesn't blend that nicely. So it goes all 
um, or spotty. I don't know how to say it, but as you can see, it's not smooth. <laughs> you can see there's uh, like darker spots. I don't know how to explain it, but it doesn't blend as nicely. So this definitely didn't look as pretty as I wanted it to, but since we're gonna cover most of it up anyway, it doesn't matter. I th still think it looks nice. What is also happening is that um, the edges of the project are not coloring. The edges of the square aren't really getting colored in because there's some glue there from gluing down these flaps. And of course you cannot ink glue. So there's still some white space. So it's not perfect, definitely not. But I do think it is nicer than having that bright white background. And then I realized, of course, I wanted to put these uh, circles in as little pages, but I didn't really know how. So I grabbed a scrap piece of paper and I'm just making these little glue flaps. And then we're gonna glue them down in that regard. I do not have measurements for this, I apologize, but I think, you know, you can definitely eyeball this. And also I could give you the measurements of the circle shape, but, um, I don't know, I think you just use what you have. If I had to guess, let me see how big was the flipbook again. The flipbook was about five and a half inches. I would say this isn't a two inch circle, if I had to guess. So what I'm doing here, I actually thought I was so smart, <laughs> is I am, um, I am hiding the glue flaps underneath the frame. And then what I'm doing here, because of course the circle shaped pages are the exact same size as the frame, but that means that you cannot open them quite nicely. So I'm actually making the frames a little smaller. No, I'm making the circles a little f smaller than the frame so that it's easier to open. Yeah, this is not that interesting. As you can see, I'm hiding the glue flap behind there. But the reason why I left this project for so long is because it's going quite nicely, right? I do really enjoy this process of just going with the flow, just thinking, uh, coming up with ways, uh, coming up with things as I craft, because I wouldn't have come up with this particular project with the circle shaped pages if I didn't have that quote page with the circle shaped quote in the middle. So I'm just going with the flow, but then I got so stuck because although I love the circle shaped, how many times am I gonna say that word? Circle shaped pages, they are so difficult or they were so difficult to work with. Like I didn't know, should I add goodies on top of it? Should they be purely decorational? Like how the heck am I gonna work with these, I'm not gonna say it again, circles. Um, in the end, I figured it out, but I got so stuck. I didn't enjoy working on this project anymore. So I just left it for the time being. Uh, the end result, of course, the, the solution is go really thin. And if I was making this in 2024, my solution would definitely be to add pet tape to the circles either as a goodie or as a decoration because it's so nice and flat. But I figured it out in the end and I think you will like what I did. Um, but uh, I, it took me a year and I have, I'm, I kid you not, I have about 15 of these projects. I think maybe even more that I started someday, I, probably closer to 20, started someday, got stuck or didn't enjoy working on it anymore, left them for years and probably years to come. I, do, I just don't feel motivated to finish them. But yeah, speaking of feeling motivated, I have been quite absent from YouTube and I realized that like I haven't posted consistently, the algorithm hates me, um, but I just haven't felt, I, I didn't, I haven't felt like editing and sharing and all that. I've been feeling kind of unmotivated. It's also very largely due to the seasons, but I just, I feel like there's not enough creativity for me right now to do these things. So I'm trying to do a little craft here and there, but it's not enough to like upload every week. What I have been doing quite consistently, however, a little self-promotion here is Patreon. You may or may not know that I have a Patreon page where you can sign up and be a member of the craft club, get little extras. I'm gonna show you in just a second. And in the meantime, you're also supporting my channel, which is great. YouTube does not pay the bills, not at all. I make about 10 to 15 euros on Patreon, or I mean on 
YouTube each month, so it's not enough to pay for my PO books and everything. So by signing up to Patreon, you get access to all of this extra content, extra, we do swaps, I do videos, I do tutorials, uh, sometimes I do giveaways, I make printables if I feel like it, I do all sorts of, um, I even make vlogs now, all sorts of fun things uh, that you might be interested in and you get access to all of that and at the same time you help me keep my channel alive. <laughs> so I have been posting as you can see quite consistently on Patreon so if you're interested in that and want to help me grow and uh, be a part of the craft club definitely consider checking it out. It's all linked in the description box down below now let me check real quickly if when i'm at it when i'm working on this it's still 2020 i'm so sorry for that very charming head i think it is still no this is already 2021 so this is me coming back after a very long break of not working on this project but um i as you can see i have decided to work on a quote uh, I decided to write a big quote in the middle. That's, of course, very flat. Uh, the earth has music for those who listen. I love that quote. I'm not very good at hand lettering, but I'm trying. I also think that I originally wanted to make this uh, project sideways, like make it as a horizontal normal envelope, but I apparently I went vertical now. Like the the long side is on is vertically. I don't know. You know what I mean? I think I origin originally meant for it to go the other way around, but... I kind of like the way this looks as well. Another thing that is very flat is of course sticker dots. And then I've started thinking about what goodies I can include because although I want the middle to be really flat, the side can also hold some goodies that are a little bit bigger. And I realized that if I um, am very careful, these cookie cards actually fit perfectly on one of the flaps. So I made a little belly band. For those of you who are not Dutch, cookie cards basically are from Verkade, which is a Dutch brand, cookie brand. And they used to come with every pack of cookies. You would get a collectible card that you could collect in these large albums. And uh, yeah, <laughs> you could collect them. And now I think they're really pretty. So I've been collecting them as well. They don't do it anymore. So these are real vintage, really old, but they're so pretty. And even if I don't like the uh, print on the front of the card, the back side is also really pretty. Looking at the top of my head, I realized something rather funny because um, I don't want to bring back bad memories, but I made this during the lockdown, the COVID lockdown, one of the first COVID lockdowns, because I can recognize that I had to uh, braid my hair back because I have bangs and they were too long because we weren't allowed to go to the hairdressers. That's a fun memory. <clears throat> it's definitely not. I did feel more crafty back then. I did the, the crafting lockdown live streams and all of that, which was kind of fun. It was definitely not a fun time, don't get me wrong, but it's it's weird to think back on, isn't it? So let's just focus on more positive things. I found more really flat goodies that I can include, namely stamps. Of course, stamps are really, really, really flat. So I went through my stash and I cut out or I found a bunch of pretty ones that I liked. These are Dutch, they have little, um, Ooh, what is the word for that? The little spiky animals. An eagle. What is an eagle in English? Hedgehog. Yes, they have little hedgehogs on them. There's a little koala. There's a couple that have flowers on them. These Dutch ones, again, really beautiful. They you have a beautiful butterfly on them. It's going quite fast, but this video is going to be seven hours long if I do not speed it up. So then we have these German ones also with flowers. So um, I'm actually picking out quite a bunch. And I have this beautiful glassine bag. I managed to fit them all in and it fits in the middle perfectly and I really like it. So that is one of the goodies I ended up including. It's kind of fun to look back on this, like, okay, how did I tackle that problem of not having a whole lot of space to add in bulky goodies? But I've definitely not added stamps in a while. <laughs> but uh, this makes me realize that I should. 
what I'm always doing and what I'm doing here with glassine bags, is bags or vellum bags or see-through bags in general, is just trying to arrange the goodies so that you can see a lot of them and that it looks pretty. I don't just want to dump the, um, the stamps in there. I want to showcase them. <laughs> so that's what I'm doing here. Even though, I don't know, it might get like tossed around in the mail so much you can't even see it anymore. And then I uh, stick it down with some double-sided tape. I, that's another thing. I have not used double-sided tape in a while, ever since I realized that after a year or two, it completely dries up and it's, it doesn't stick anymore, which sucks. Like projects that I've started in the past and that I'm finishing now, I need to like redo them completely. Can I zoom this in while I'm talking? Um, I need to redo them completely because all of the double-sided tape has just fallen off. It's horrible. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I'm, I'm telling you. Am I writing a mail tag on the back of this? I think I am. Uh, the way I edit my videos is I do not actually watch the footage before I do the voiceover. So since this is two to three years ago that I worked on this, it's three years ago, actually, three to four years ago that I worked on this, I do not actually remember everything I did. So you're watching this for the first time, but for me, it's also like I'm watching this for the first time, which is kind of great. So... There's that, so I'm making a mail tag, I'm pretty sure. Mail tag questions, yeah, I can read it now. And then, what's next? Oh yes, I found, of course, very thin goodies, washi type stickers. Nowadays, I'm obsessed with pet type. You may or may not know, absolutely love pet type. But back then, I was obsessed with washi type stickers. I still am, I still think they're so pretty, they blend in so nicely, and they're really lightweight and thin. So perfect for sending pen pal mail because it gets more and more expensive every year. And what I like about it is that the ones I found also match my projects because they're green and uh, botanical. But I didn't know how, I knew they fit into the circle, but I didn't know how to actually get them to stay on the page uh, because I did want to give them some sort of like container. So what I did is I tore off a piece of paper and then I run it through my die cutting machine with the circle punch. So you get like this perfectly shaped half circle. I actually really like that idea. Why don't I do that more often? So you now have a perfectly shaped half circle with a nice torn uh, edge. And that's my pocket. And this is of course a very narrow pocket, but because the stickers are so thin, that works perfectly. And I wanted to decorate a little more, so I am adding little stamps. I don't use stamps often enough either. I'm realizing that now. This is good for me. I think it's good for me to watch an old video and realize I have forgotten about these stamps. <laughs> I have forgotten about a whole lot of supplies. So yeah, look at that. All the, the little stickers just peeking out. Haven't crafted yet today. But I really want to. And it's kind of perfect because I want to make... If you're listening, close your ears. But I want to make a project for Kira. Because I've been... I started writing a letter for her back in December. Still haven't finished the letter or made a mail or done anything to get that mail ready. So I was thinking of crafting something for her. And she loves Vintage Botanical. So I figured I was going to do vintage botanical. So I'm really trying to pay attention to this video to remember all the goodies that I have and that I forgot about because they could be nice to use in the future. Yes, this whole box is filled with labels. It definitely looks a lot less organized now than it did back then, but I have a lot of labels <laughs> and I just decided to make a nice little selection. Of course, I have the ones that match the colors on top. And I actually, I can see now, ended up putting them on the page with a paper clip, a butterfly shaped paper clip. So cute. I love my nail color, my nail polish color in this. I'm also wearing my old ring. I'm realizing now, oh, such nostalgia. <laughs> oh, how times have changed, my friends. So I also have these little uh, collage papers. I think are really cute and I have cut out these mini 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 book page images illustrations and I'm just trying to find something that matches 
Just trying to find something that matches. The washi types that I have on my desk are from Note and Wish, I think. This must have been when I got um, that subscription box from them. Had a subscription box, it came with a wax seal, it came with stickers, it came with washi tapes, it was gorgeous. And it, to this day, those washi tapes are still my favorites to use. That's the book I got from. Got it from my grandma's house. Actually saved it from the paper bin. Yeah, when my grandma passed, my mom had to go through all of her supplies. And of course, there's a lifetime of supplies. So she uh, tossed a lot out. And then I, uh, I said, can I go through the paper bin? And she said, be my guest, because she knows me longer than today. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I found some pretty books. I found some pretty books. Yeah. What else can I say about this? I don't know. But yeah, like I said at the beginning of this video, like I've said seven times on Instagram already, I just haven't been feeling crafty. And I feel like this happens every winter because I hate winter. I get so sad. I get I feel so bad in winter. I just, I'm just basically counting down the days for spring to start. But I feel like it's worse this year. Like I feel like every year I'm feeling bad and I'm not feeling crafty, but I feel like this is definitely the worst it's gotten. But yeah, what can you do? I, I feel like I should force myself to craft, especially because I don't know. I think it's going to make me feel better, but ugh. Ugh. It's easier to just sit and stare and do nothing than it is to do something I enjoy, which is stupid. But yeah, seasonal affective disorder for you. So as you can see, we have successfully tackled three out of the four flaps, which is something else I really struggled with. This is a stamp. No, it's not a stamp. This is, oh, it's actually a part of the note paper. This note paper was also from the Note and Wish box. I kind of forgot about it, but this note paper from the Note and Wish box, I just, uh, I'm using it to decorate because it's a sticky note. And although I think it's really pretty and it has a grid on it, I hate sticky notes because they're never sticky enough, yet they're too sticky to be nice. Like they never stick on to anything. Like I would much rather just have paper without the sticky part, you know, maybe I'm just complaining. But okay, so I'm just using it to decorate because um, I think it's nice. I do think it's really pretty. And then I am gonna stamp some ink on it. Am I gonna stamp some blue ink? That's an interesting choice. That is an interesting choice. No, there we go in with the black. That makes more sense. I might, I think I'm making collage paper. I guess. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, friends. I'm discovering it as I go. Same as you. Oh, I'm stamping a blue. The flower in blue. It is a pretty ink. It's a chalky, chalky. I cannot pronounce that word. Chalky ink. So it has like a matte finish, which I think is really nice. I can't really explain it, but it's pretty. It's very pigmented though, as you can see, there's blue ink all over my desk. So yeah, friends, that is my project. Uh, do let me know if you felt inspired. Oh, if you're wondering how I'm cleaning my stamps. I forgot I did that. I use baby wipes. Someone once told me baby wipes are really good for, um, for cleaning your stamps. These are my wood veneers. Also completely forgot I had them. But if you were in any way inspired by this project and you would like to have your picture shown in a future video, don't forget to use the hashtag the paper letter blog on Instagram. Also, don't forget to follow me there if you would like to see when I post new videos and if you would like to see my other projects and other things I work on, I share a whole bunch of things. I forgot to mention, but I have not actually decorated the outside of this. I was contemplating it, but I think the inside is the main part. I think it, it needs to be open, like when it's closed, it's an envelope, it's not that interesting. So I could have decorated it. And I am i don't remember if I decorated it when I sent it out, but I decided to leave the outside blank. Not blank, it has a pretty paper. And then I'm just doing some doodly borders around the corner, but anyhow. Oh, and some new voter ops. Boy, I'm doing so much more in this last half a minute than I thought I was. 
I'm adding blue because I don't know why, but I think it matches nicely. Anyway, that was it for today's video. If you were in any way inspired, you know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. You know, I have missed, I have missed being on YouTube. So if you've watched this video and you have something to say, or if you're crafting, or if you're not crafting, or if there's anything you want to tell me, please do so in the comments down below. And I will talk to you all again soon. Today I picked up my PO box mail. So there will be a new PO box opening video online in the future as well. But yeah, I don't know when you, I don't know yet when. Okay, bye.